that between my first playthrough of the game, when I had no problem killing Renala with just a Uchi Katana that wasn't even remotely close to being leveled up enough, I was leveled up enough. I was, I think, level 60. <clears throat> uh, no, I was level 59. Um, but I don't think my Uchi Katana was more than maybe plus 5. Maybe plus 6. And I went in there and killed her in 5 tries. They have absolutely buffed Renala in that fight. Absolutely 1,000%. And I don't mean buffed her as in... Buffed her HP. But they have 100% buffed... The, the first phase. Um... In how quickly... The, the big downfalls, the, the chandelier fell, um, falling happens. You don't have nearly as much time as you used to. I think they changed the AI to make it harder to find the little sisters in the room. Uh, and then in the second phase fight, they also, I think, reduced time between attacks. And made it, therefore, harder to uh, do different things. So, anyway... Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Kaled. We're going to finish off Kaled, uh, pick up a whole bunch of crap here. Um, let's start... Do I, I have... Yeah, I do. Okay, let's start from the ruins first. I want to get the, the second map piece. Put a marker down. All right. Uh, stay away from doggies. Stay away from the doggies. There you go. You all, you all stay over there. I love doggies, but not 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 you. You're, you're bad doggies. Bad doggies. Um, eh, pebbles probably fine. I don't expect to be killing anything here. Oh shoot! I was playing Steel Rising yesterday, so I've got to get my. Uh, over on my YouTube channel, so I've got to get my uh, buttons correct. Thankfully, there aren't that many differences between the two, control scheme-wise, but there's enough. Um, let me get this somber over here first. Let's drop down and get the stuff down the bottom. Oops. Sorry, Torrent. Didn't mean to hurt you. Okay. From here, let's go up to East Seal Sanctum. I think that's the best starting point. And we'll go down and grab the Grace of the Bridge.
and this golden seed, which apparently I forgot to grab when I first got to the Bestial Sanctum. Is it Yeah, think about this a second. I know Fort Faroth is right over there. And I definitely want to make sure that I get that. I don't think there's anything up here. No, there's not. No. Okay. Oh, shit! I'm dead. Oh, I jumped too early. Uh, well, I don't think I had any soul or any runes anyway, so... Yes, it really doesn't matter. You know, I've never gone across that lower bridge. I know there's a knight of some kind that's there to stop you. But I've never ever tried to go across that lower bridge. Alright, so let's go up here. There is a set of sarcophagi. All right, and then we want to go down there. Grab the Race. And then we'll go back. Uh oh. Yeah, I aimed the wrong way. try and remember how to do this because there is a way to get inside here ah there it is without you having to solve the puzzle now granted it's only a memory stone but still got ourselves a memory stone that I'll probably never use. <laughs> I don't know. That's one of the other things I am going to be collecting is there's a spell that I want to make sure that I get and I'll talk about why in a, in a little, once I get a hold of it. Um. Oh, shoot. I'm glad I did that because I almost missed one. Oh, it's only a one. Okay. Now I've got to remember where I want to go.
Yeah, it's this way. Go around behind the Puget Erd tree. I'll just gain 21 runes somehow. Not really sure how. And we take this. And there's Fort Faroth. <clears throat> Alright, so standard Fort Faroth, I am going to be getting the... other piece of the... whatchamacallit? <laughs> um... Where is it? Oh, don't tell me I forgot to pick. No, there it is. Uh, the Dectus Medallion, the right hand side of the Dectus Medallion. Um, I'm also going to get uh, Radagon's Sword Seal. Uh, one, it's a legendary, so I wanted to get it as part of the run. But uh, it also, I think, will work out well when I am forced into positions to use a sword of some kind. Before I do anything, I am curious. Huh. Huh. That might not be a bad idea to do a little farming while I'm in here. do a little farming. Uh-oh. I don't like it when they're, when they're flying. That's eh, not good. Okay. Y you're a little beefier. My, look at the poison buildup. Oh, Lord. That was dumb. Alright, you know what? Let's sit back down here and maybe we don't do so much farming. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, that sucks. Well, actually, you know what? We can at least do this one. I don't think anyone's going to get... Well, I may have spoken too soon.
Yeah, and see, that's the one that's the problem. It's the, the harpies that are the issue. The bats are fine. I didn't remember the harpies being that beefy. close. I almost got caught again. Alright. Now then. I'm going to make a quick switch. In case I need to fight a rat. Alright. Now the correct one is that far one there I think. Yeah, it's that one there. Okay. What? What the hell? How did I die from a rat? That was a single strike. I hate it when this kind of shit happens because it makes me feel like a noob. Where's my... Where am I... Where... Oh, come on. How the hell did it build up that fast? them. No. Freaking fantastic. So they put it right back there.
I don't have the freaking homeward bone thing. All right, screw it. I got what I wanted. I lost some runes. The hell with it. Okay, uh, the next thing. I feel like a moron and probably look like a moron for the way that I just played, but... <clears throat> uh, let's... No, let's put on... Where'd it go? Ore blade. This is probably going to take a while. But. So we've gotten two blood procs so far. three. There's four. Five. All right, gold pit with foul foot. I know why I, the rat was so, able to kill me so easily. The Radagon Talisman I've got on increases damage taken. All right. Let's just go ahead and use this now so that I don't forget about it later. Um, let's swap that back out for that for now. Alright. 
So Vigor's at 20. Endurance could stand to be at 15, but that's not terribly important. Uh, Dex is at 20. All right, Intelligence is at 30. All right, let's put it at 32. And let's put... That's still only... I need almost 40k to get a second level. Yeah, I'm only getting six levels out of this. Um... Put another point into endurance. Alright, I would need another 9k. Which I, I absolutely have. But, let, let's continue on with the collection. We have more collecting to do. More collecting to do. Next is over here. I think I mean there's definitely some things I could do down in Celia but I'm not ready to do any of that yet there's a painting in there um oh let me go get the isolated shack guy back into Limgrave. Because as I said before, there is a spell that I want to make sure that I get. And the scroll for that spell is in Limgrave. find it fascinating every time I come here that there are these ginormous dogs that are protecting the sheep. Alright. Pretty sure there's nothing else that I want here. Alright. Limgrave. Limgrave. Uh... Probably best starting point is down here. All right, now I just got to figure out how to get where I want to go.
Oh. Apparently I didn't come here. I thought I had already cleared these. Alright, that's where Selena is. this is, but I'm going to go grab it. Oh, there's another gold pickle foul foot. Well, I'll be damned. I don't know if that one's easy. Well, that one's definitely not easier to get than the one down on the beach, but... Alright. Oh, there's where I'm going. I think. Okay. Yeah, up on top of that building that overlooks that camp is the scroll that I'm looking for. I believe that's the key. Yeah. Yep, I can see it from here. Why will it not let me change? That was weird. It wouldn't let me change weapons. Oh. Guess I didn't really need to. Alright. There we go. Alright, now we'll go down to talk to Selena. Or Selen. Sorry, Selen. I don't know why I keep calling her Selena. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Ah, <sighs> is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Alright, so the sword or the spell I want is not here. Oh there it is. Carrion Slicer. <clears throat> and now that I've gotten that new memory stone. I have the ability to add that into my repertoire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Carrion Slicer there. I'm going to put Flintstone Stars there. And that should do it, I think. And actually, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to remove Flintstone Pebble. There's no reason for me to keep it. And I don't want to have too many spells to have to scroll through in the middle of a fight. Alright, that was all that I needed to do. That All the collecting that I wanted to do, I believe. There's one other thing that I could go and get. Um, specifically, Mel uh, Millennia's Scar Seal. But... I only have two talisman slots right now anyway, but I just, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. So, let's go ahead and, and, and try the Renala fight again. Uh, church. Is it schoolhouse classroom? 
I think it's schoolhouse classroom. Yep, schoolhouse classroom. Nope, wrong one. Nope, wrong one. Debate parlor. Yep, there we go. Oh, uh, let me remove this. Oh, there was one other thing that I wanted to get. Um, hold on one second. Uh, is it under? It's a crystal. There were two crystal tiers that I wanted. One of them that provides magic, and one of them that provides intelligence. The magic one I know comes from the uh, avatar in Liernia Lakes, right near both of the uh, mausoleums, which I'm going to want to get access to anyway. Yeah, and then the intelligence one... From road to the manor, site of grace, head southeast down the slope. Loot from a small half-bowl structure guarded by a few lesser spider hand and more sp Okay, so that one's in the manor. Temporarily and boost, uh, boost intelligence. And then the magic shrouding cracked tier is the other one that I was talking about, which you get from defeating the Erd Tree Avatar in Leerny of the Lakes uh, on the east side of the lake, not on the west side. <clears throat> The intelligence one is the more important one. I'm going to go get that right now. I think I can go get that before I, I do the fight. Yeah, I think that's more important. It is... right here so let's go here next to EG yeah now I just gotta figure out what's the best way to get down there okay not that bad Not that bad at all. More wolves. I don't think I've only been down here but one time. Take it a little slow. So that I don't get suddenly attacked. There it is. I really didn't mean to do that. Wow, and I got a somber two for that. And there's a big boy.
and I never woke him up. Okay. Now, let's go back and try again. Alright, so that'll give me a little bit of extra. The key, though, is going to be in using it right before the second phase. That's what's going to be tough. Alright, so let me sit here. I need to rework that physic. Let's swap out this one or that one. Let's also swap my flasks down to 6-4. Alright, and then sword for the first phase. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. And I also learned that if I'm going to use Rock Sling, that I can only really use Rock Sling after the Common Azure spell. And right after the... What's it? The White Moon spell? the other one there she is I just I don't understand how that keeps happening Okay. <clears throat> of course. Come on. Come 
Maybe I need to be closer. There we go. Great. Oh shit. This is not going well. There it is. There it is. Oh no, not again! My dear daughter. It happened to me again! That happened in my first playthrough. And in my first playthrough, I was never able to get my, my, uh, runes. And I'll bet you anything, they didn't fix it. Yeah, so I, I, I am, though, even though the end happened the way that it did, I am happy with the way that that fight went. That went a lot better. I just needed to be patient and only bait the, the common Azure. Or uh, either before or after her summonings. The problem is, is after the summon or during the summons, uh, the lock on almost always locked on to the summons instead. Oh no, it didn't count! Oh man! That just plain sucks. Yep, it, they didn't count it. Kidding me. Come, sweetings. Time to be born and
So we stay closer. I actually got a little aggressive there. Okay. I'm going to keep running this time. Okay, that one took. <clears throat> Nothing like having to kill the, the boss twice. Okay, uh, let's take a quick look at... All right, so defeat Ryo Lucardi Academy, collect second glimstone key above the... Okay, I've got to go do that. But let's go talk to her, then I'll take a quick break, run to the restroom and all that kind of stuff. My sweetings, come out from whence ye hide. There are books and light aplenty, did or not. Come out, say I. Or will he be gravestones to be better born anew? Ah, thou, is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg? Uh, rebirth cosmetics. Okay, so you don't have anything new to say. Nor a fear, I would birth thee as a sweeting, fair and fine. Okay. I think it's this one that opens? Nope. Uh, where's the one that opens? I thought there were two in here. Am I wrong? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's real quickly. Let's see. All right. Let, let's talk about what the plan is here. <clears throat> so. I'm going to go get the second Glimstone key. That won't be an issue at all. Uh, I'm strong enough now that I'll be able to kill all of the, the uh, marionettes without any problem. 
So we'll go get the second Glenstone key. <clears throat> Surprisingly, they don't have us go talk to Thops immediately afterward, but that's okay. Um, second Glenstone key. Then we will... I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, go deal with that uh, at avatar. Did I get... No, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go deal with the Avatar and Liernia Lakes over on the east side so that I can get the, the Magic Crack tier. Um, I'm also going to, of course, get all of the graces along the way. Then I'm going to... I know I'm going to have to go back to the round table hold anyway, but I also want to make sure that I get the Mausoleum there so that I can copy her remembrance, because I'm going to use one of those remembrances to get her staff, get her scepter. And I'm going to switch to that, which should be a big upgrade. Now, the key is, is I don't know how that upgrades, if it upgrades via Sombers or not. I may have to, excuse me, go talk to EG. So, I'm going to only level up here... I'm going to leave my Intelligence at 32 for now, but I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple of points into Mind... So that that's now at 20. I want to get my endurance to 15 and I'll leave that there and then all of the rest of the points moving forward will be uh, intelligence, a little bit of dex here and there. Because um, I'm actually thinking at this point now that we're out and done with Liurnia, I don't know that I need Moonvale. But if I don't use it, then it's not a, a dex int build. Oh. Okay. Um, all right, let me take a quick break, go run to the restroom, and I will be right back, and then we'll go get the second glintstone key. Okay. <clears throat> all right, I need to get back to the debate parlor. I think. No, actually I don't. No, I don't. Isn't there... I could have sworn there was another chest in here. That there was one you were allowed to open right from the very beginning, and then one that required the end of Ronnie's quest line before you could open it. Because that's the the full moon, the dark full moon uh, spell, if I remember correctly. I could have sworn there was another chest in here. Alright, whatever. And I could have sworn I... Oh, that's right. I did just send this back down. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I'll take the back way onto the roofs. Yeah, that, that'll be better. Sorcerers let do the sorcerers clothes do anything? Are they anything special? Not a thing. Nope, not a thing at all. I don't think I ever got one of their heads. No, I did. Increases intelligence to the detriment of stamina. That's right, that's right. I didn't want to take that risk. Yeah. Okay. All right.
I don't know how you all aggro so quickly. Okay. Now, I don't remember what all is here. I just hope I remember how to get to where I need. So that I can help Thops out. Nothing there. Over on the other side. Okay. Okay, now I gotta be careful. Oh no, what the hell is that spell? I think I've ever seen that spell before. Because I think I snuck up on him my first time around through here and stabbed him in the back. Okay, I think that's everybody. Okay. Next. Alright, we got something up there. Meteor bolt? Meteor bolt? Hold on a minute. I want to know what that is. Not for now. It's obviously crossbow oriented, but enchanted work of craft made in tandem with the full moon crossbow. The tip is embedded with glintstone. Oh, it's the the magic version of cross of okay, okay. Yeah, I, I guess there needed to be one. I mean, there is a magic arrow. I forget what they're called, but um, I definitely know there is a magic arrow. Hold on a minute, how do I get up there? Because if I drop down, I'm screwed. There's no... Where's the ladder? Am I missing it? Am I missing something? Help. There's nowhere to go from there. Well, there might be something along the... Front of the building. 
that I just can't see. Well, it's the only way to go, so. Yeah, okay. Uh... Oh. Uh-oh. I have no idea what it is I just missed, but I have no idea how I'm supposed to get there. Alright, there's a ladder there. Um, let's make sure to do this. I don't remember where the church is. Right over there. Alright, so that's where I've got to get to. The Cuckoo Church. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Do I need to use the ladder? Oh god, there's two more of those stupid flyers. Let me see what this is first. Oh, there's one of those crystal crabs. I forget what he gave me, but he gave me something nice. Nice. That's very nice. Somber Smithing 4. Alright, yeah, so I need to make the jump over. Stone sword key. Bidding three. So there's something over there. Oh, this is where the key is. Right in here. I 
Right, so they were facing that way. There's one up there. Oh, yeah, I need to drop down onto that one. there. There we go. I am going to forgo. Did I? I was just getting ready to say I was going to forgo what was up top, but I don't think I actually cleared the second floor of the, of the church. All the way there. Oh my god. Gotta do this all over again. Because that was a lot of runes. Son of a bitch. Man, that was a lot of runes. Um, I. What am I running? 6 4? Yeah, let me change my flask to 5 5. God damn it! Ah! Oh. Unfortunately, I don't think that there's going to be too many chances for sprinting now. Maybe that one walkway. I'm going to try. If I could have killed that first guy faster, I would have been fine. Um... Okay, I'm getting some framiness. I'm not liking it. Um, what did I need to do here? I know it's getting across. But then running around. I'm pretty sure it's running around to the left. Alright, let me thin this out a little bit.
Okay. Now I think I can actually sprint it. meant to do that with a sword, but okay. It worked. Alright, I don't need to go after you. Oh yeah, I did want to try and go down there and get that crystal crab too. going to be able to get back up here. I don't think. Oh, yes, I will. If there's a window open, I will. Or door, whatever. Okay, I'll be fine. Um... Twin Sage Glenstone Crown. Awesome. Now, what does that do? Greatly increases detriment intelligence to the detriment of HP and stamina. Lovely. Well, unfortunately, my name is not Lobos. I am not that good. Alright, so there's that guy. Yes, I did just sit there and take every bit of that. And I'm fine with it. Because the job's done. Uh... Oh, Shattering Crystal. Why did I not come in here after I cleared the church the first time? And what the hell is this guy? I don't have a clue who this is. Oh, fantastic. Oh, 
Now, it doesn't matter, because he's dead, but... I've never been here. Oh! Azur's Glintstone Staff. Which, uh, that helps out with, um, Glintstone spells. Such as the one that I've been using. Um, actually, you know what? Let's take a quick look here. It only requires intelligence of 52. I'm, I'm a wee bit short. They have the primeval glintstone sorcerer Azure. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Reduces casting time of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. So it's the same thing as um, the staff in Celia. Okay. Alright, well, let's get the hell out of here. Um, we need to get to the Erd Tree avatar over here. Yeah, but... Oh, no, that that's right. This one's speed, that one's strength. Yeah, loose that's his strength. Yeah, 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 you're right. Um... So I can get to the Avatar through the Town of Frenzy, which I really, really don't want to do. Well, there's also the Mausoleum that's right here. Alright, let's do this. Let me do this. Let me go get the, uh, the thing at the Church of Vows first. Because I'm going to have to go to the Church of Vows later anyway. Uh, I know that's on the lore list. And I have the ability to upgrade, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh... Alright, let's leave Vigor in mind alone, or Vigor definitely alone for a bit. Endurance is, is good for a little bit. Let's put in another point into Dex. And then the next one we'll put is into Intelligence. Yeah, I had actually never been down there and gotten that staff. Did not do that in my first playthrough. quickly. So we've defeated Rai Lucari. We've gotten the second Glintstone key. Next is to use the way gate down the lift from the Rai Lucari boss room to talk to Muriel Pastor of Vows. Oh, never mind. I'm already here. You're tarnished, aren't you? 
I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Nope. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. The Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. <laughs> if you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. <coughs> uh, okay. About Radagon. You wish to know more of Lord Radagon? Lord Radagon was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there, and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Okay, about Renala. I wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. All right, have you got anything? That's right, 10k for carrying greatsword. I don't know that I'm going to want that, but... Magic Glint Blade. Creates a sigil that forms a projectile glint blade after delay. Okay. Uh, okay. I think that's it. For now, at least. Gold sewing needle, golden tailoring tools. Those are for a quest line later. Let me see if he has anything to say about it. Is there something else? Nope. Okay. All right. So that's that. Grab sewing needle. Yep. Defeat the black knife catacombs. Goody. <clears throat> All right, well, before we do that, I want to go uh, figure out a way to beat the Erdtree Avatar, get the mausoleum, and uh, therefore be able to copy the Renala Remembrance. And I need to figure out how to do that without getting sniped consistently by the ancients. And 
as I have never come this way before, I don't know what that will look like. Alright, that's the one... Okay, so that's the one down on the ground. Look, they're already sniping at me. Oh my god. Alright, so that's the one down on the ground. And there's another one back there, closer to the town of Frenzy, village of Frenzy. And then the Avatar... over there. Hmm. What is this graveyard here? Anything? Nope. Grave Violet. Not worth it. Alright, any chance that there's a... No. Hold on. Hold on, I think I might have something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think I can drop from here. What's up, Goose? Thank you for the subscription, as always. We actually might have something here. And then jump. There we go. Hey! Just takes a little bit of ingenuity. Now I just gotta still make sure that I don't get sniped. Oh lord, there's a bear. Run! Run! As I said... All right, this actually works out to my advantage. There is a Sight of Grace right down here. Woo! <laughs> so, actually, Goose, I am playing a Battle Mage, uh, not a pure wizard, because... I have swords also. So I'm playing a hybrid character. Alright, first things first, let's go... Get the mausoleum down. Oh. Oh 
that's right. This is ridiculous. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Thankfully, he gives me enough notice. That was all it took. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> Very nice. Uh, before we do anything, let's read. From the Remembrance of the Full Moon Queen. Remembrance of Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. In her youth, Renala was a prominent champion who charmed the Academy with her lunar magic, becoming its master. She also led the Glintstone Knights and established the House of Caria as royalty. This is what I don't understand. Why is it telling me that I don't have a remembrance to duplicate? Am I not able to duplicate it until after I go talk to the finger reader? Alright, well I've got the... Oh good, I can actually refill my things from there. Now then, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, perfect. Now, 
we're all filled up. Oh, that was close. That was close. Problem. No problem at all. Magic Shrouding Crack Tear, Lightning, Holy. Excellent. Oh, Jawbone Axe and Dwelling Arrows. Very nice. I don't remember there being anything else around here, but let me do a quick run around just to make sure. Nope. I think we're good. All right. Defeat the Black Knife Catacombs. That's next. Although, there's really no reason. Oh no, I have to... I need to finish the Black Knife Catacombs if I'm going to talk to Fia and Roger. But I could at least go back to the Round Table Hold, talk to Encha, Gideon, and Nefeli, and then come back to... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Because only the Fia and Roger um, dialogue lines require me to have cleared the Black Knife. Oh shit, that's right. I didn't think I was going to make that. I got tired of her jumping around. I got to be honest. That's all that it came down to. I just got tired of her jumping around. Whew. Clinging bone. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Ensha. I had my doubt. My, look at you. Only once before have I seen two great runes together. Look there, the 
fingers shudder with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now, seek the Erd Tree and an audience with Queen Marika to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. The fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Take this, a token of farewell. There's the third patch pouch. Go forth, become Elden Lord. <clears throat> Anything else? You have returned. What is it? Queen Marika is the vessel of the Elden Ring, carrier of its vision. A god in truth. But after the Elden Ring's shattering, she was imprisoned in the Erd Tree. A grim punishment for shattering the Order, despite her godhood. <sighs> the fingers speak. Marika's trespass demanded a heavy sentence. But even in shackles, she remains a god and the vision's vessel. Confer great runes to become Elden Lord and join Queen Marika as her consort. The fingers have willed it so. Now you may go. Now go forth. All right, let me go talk to Gideon and Efeli real quick, and then we'll head back and see if we are able to duplicate it. I love this armor set. Or I ended up switching to this armor set in my first playthrough. Well, I see you found another great room. Wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Landell, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. The two fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished. And we must answer the call of grace. Alright, so let's talk about oh, Encha. My apologies for that nasty business. Encha got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Ensha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Okay. Uh, about Renala. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Lingrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the Academy. And her great rune dwells within the egg she so dearly clutches. Yeah, and she's dead now. Just so you know. Alright, so we're done with you. Where's Nefeli? Shouldn't she be right here? Or... Oh, no, no, no. I think she moves to over here. Oh, your divinity have mercy and grant me forgiveness. No. The road is yet long. A god is not easily felled. Where is One she downstairs? Fell, you will have your wish. So please grant me forgiveness, Queen Marika. There she is. 
Ah, oh, you. Please, leave me be. <clears throat> it's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah, oh, you. Please, it's pathetic, I know. Okay. Alright, so we killed Ensha, talked to Gideon and Nefeli until Dialogue with both is exhausted. Let me go back, though, and talk to Gideon again just to make sure that he doesn't have anything to say about Nefeli. And then we'll go try and duplicate the remembrance before coming, uh, before going to Black Knife Catacombs. Journey to the capital. Let yeah, him yeah, yeah. Be our best hope. Ah, there we go. The Felly's despair. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed, it seemed the whelp harbored suspicions. So I had no further use for her. Honestly, what's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. You're an ass. That's what I have to say to you. You're an ass. You're her father. Albeit adopted, you're still her father. Hmm. It is absolutely no wonder that no one who plays the game likes him. Ah, oh, you, please. It's pathetic, I know. Okay. Oh, here we go. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions. Forgetting the mission. Punishment for offing his pawns. That's the only killer. Mother. Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him. To place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I... Though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I... I can no longer trust him, Father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Mm. Was he simply lying to me? Yes. No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. <laughs> and now... I've lost it. So first of all, you're mistaking guidance for commands. <laughs> Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm not like Broderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. In this ash, it reminds me of my first... Okay. I am pretty sure that's it. Let me double check with Gideon and make sure that he doesn't have anything new. I might go ahead and do the Roderica and Hugh portions while I'm at it. Journey to the capital. The two fingers you may be up. Yeah, okay. All right, Hugh. Why are you upset? You, is it? I didn't notice you there. I'll be doing my job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. About the prayer. Those words were not meant for you. I may be prisoner to you, tarnished lot, but my prayers are mine, and mine alone. Well, I've had my say. I'll be more careful, too. Okay, about Roderica. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. 
All right, let's talk to her. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I? For persuading Master Hugh. I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet <coughs> unsure of what I might be able to accomplish. But if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay. Well, I definitely want to go ahead and upgrade that one. Apparently that's all I can do at the moment, and that's fine. Uh, so we're done with those two. Okay, let me... Actually, I need to run to the restroom. <clears throat> Let me go do that real quick. Uh, run a few ads, and then I'll be right back, and we will keep going. All right, let's try and go back to the mausoleum. So that we can duplicate Renala's Remembrance. All right, where is it? That's right, it's up there. Why am I not able to duplicate her remembrance? Is Renala's not possible for duplication? Renalas can only be duplicated at one with a bell. Interesting. Okay. Well, then that's going to have to be the one down below. And I got to remember how to get onto that one. Oh, why am I not able to get my horse? There we go. way. Yep. That ain't it. Of course, it also doesn't help that uh, he jumped <laughs> right as I made my jump. Well, and he doesn't have a bell either, so actually that one's not going to make any difference. Alright, so I need to go find the one... Oh, 
Trina Lords. Alright, I need to go find the one that's here. Alright, let me go to this point then. There's... Okay, there he is. Now, where's the... Because the only way you can get onto him is using the air pockets. Alright, there's one. I don't think that's the right one, though. I think I have to use one over by this wall. Excellent. I don't know if I ever have... Nope, it's not. I thought that was a... cave. There's the cave. That's the one I was thinking of. So let me grab this side of grace first in case I need to come here at any point. Careful not to get over there too close. I'm going to start getting struck by lightning. Alright, well then it's got to be that particular one then. Because it's the only... Yeah, that's the only air pocket that's close by. Alright. Make sure we're facing in the right direction. Oh yeah, this is the right one. What? Oh, I probably need to get over more towards the tree. Understand. I know I've done it before. I know I have. Like, oh, there we go.
There we go. Why am I st uh I don't know why I still have his. I thought I used his to I did. I used his Oh, but I never duplicated it. So I have the option to duplicate it again even though it's not sitting in my inventory anymore. Okay. That's fine. Um His, if I remember correctly, isn't worth more than 20k, so I don't think it's really worth it. So let's actually, you know what? Let's find out. I need to. I need to know. Uh. Okay, yeah, so Godric's is 20k. So is Renala's. So either one. I thought I had uh, done his, but I guess not. Do you get a remembrance from Margit? No. Well, then I guess I still have the mausoleum in, uh... Oh, you can only duplicate one per mausoleum, but I don't think... Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um... Oh, I'm gonna... Okay, I can't spend hers. Because I need both of her available items. The Renala's Full Moon is a legendary sorcery. So I need to be able to get that. Yeah, so I'm going to need to duplicate hers for no other reason than I need both of her items. Okay. Alright. So there's that. Now we need to get to the Black Knife Catacombs, which is down here. Um... I guess we'll use the Church of Vows. And, you know what, let's, I think I've got some extra runes here, so let's go ahead and spend some runes. Yeah, I've got quite a few, as a matter of fact. That should be enough right there. Uh, let's go another point into intelligence. Actually, before I do anything else, I just had to think about this. Let me go and go back to get the scepter. I want to get the upgraded. I want to get the upgraded uh, staff. Receive equipment. Oh, that's not what I want. Yeah, that's not what I want. Receive power. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So there's the scepter. And there's the sorcery. Alright, excellent. Now then. Uh, we've also talked to Hugh and Roderica, so I don't have to worry about that now. Alright, paintings. Legendaries. Alright. We've now got Radagon Sore Seal. And we've got Renala's Dark Moon. So we've got four legendaries out of 32. I'm not doing all 32, I'm only doing 29, because the remaining three are incantations. 
if I get them, great, but I'm not going to go searching for them because I'm not playing a, a cleric. All right. Now, let's go back. Now, go for All right. Oh, wrong thing. I can't even use it. It's got an int requirement of 60. Shit. How did I not get pick up on that? Oh my god, Brian. I guess I'm going to I'm going to have to find a replacement then for the meteorite staff. Because that's not going to fly. Shit. Um. Alright, let me see something. The meteorite staff... does have S scaling though. Two seventy two at eighty int. The Academy Glintstone staff though has three forty five at eighty int. Isn't this one just found at the top of a... Oh no, this one's uh, looted from Thop's body. Alright, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with Meteorite until I hit level... Until I hit in, uh, Intelligence for 40... And then we're going to make sure that I have access to the Academy Glintstone staff. Or I can always, I think, go get the Carrion Glintstone staff. Wait a minute, this one in the Carrion study hall, right before the second lift. That must be in the Carrion manor then. Alright, well then we'll stick with what we've got for right now. We'll stick with what we've got for right now. Um, Alright, let's see. Black Knife Catacombs. Church of Vows. I don't know how I missed that the Scepter had that big of a requir uh, int requirement on it. Fourth here. And then down here.
Okay. Alright, first things first. This guy sucks. There we go. I remember hating this particular set of catacombs, but I've got to do it, so let's get it done. The Beast Eye Quivers. I don't think I remember seeing that before. Alright. Um... Oh, come on! <sighs> Alright, there's the first door. Grave Glove Wart 2. Oh, that's right. Okay. That requires the key. suppose we might as well do this now. So that I don't have to worry about it later. was 
wasn't what I meant to do. Rosas X. All right. Pretty sure he's down here somewhere. Okay, I might be wrong. There's a big old crab in there. I wish I could remember what that is. I never even got to pick it up. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to do something different because switching back and forth between staff and, and swords is a pain in the ass. So, let me do that. And I'm going to remove that one for now. Better anyway. I know where I need to go, but...
God damn it. Didn't need it anyway. Hmm. Didn't need it anyway. Alright, I know I need to get up. Excuse me, and that's where the... call it is where the necromancer is got to be freaking kidding me Somehow, I don't, I don't know how they are doing this much damage to me. have any heals. This isn't going to go well. <clears throat> this isn't going to go well. best bet is to head straight there first. Um.
Actually, let's, yeah, let me make sure that I have a jellyfish in play. Maybe that'll help get me over the hump. Nope. Not going to allow it. just it takes too long it ta they take too long to generate I can't believe they won't let me use a spirit ash all right I think it's gonna have to be this way then I hate the Black Knife assassins anyway. I, I hate any enemy that uh, jumps around so damn much. hit that I took that much damage. I had the wrong one set. Yeah, that's the better play. That's absolutely the better play, but I'm going to have to learn his move set now. And I was pre-rolling way too early in almost every one of his moves.
Well, that's been the cleanest so far. Alright, let's have that one up first. Especially if we top that off. Okay. Yes! Whew. Assassin Cerulean Dagger and the Black Knife Print. So that's what I need to talk to Fia. Um, I still, though, have to... And... Uh... Is it here? It's right there. Okay. This will open that door. need to get back to... Oh, shit. Where the hell am I? Okay. I know where I am. Alright, good. Alright, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Alright, let me go sit back up here. And we'll deal with what's down there behind the doors. Because I don't remember. Nope. I'm going to need more than that. That'll do it. That should do it. Um... I don't remember what the boss is here. Uh, but before I do another boss right back to back, let me go take a quick break and go run to the restroom, and I will be right back. Really wish I could remember what was here. 
So that I could better prepare. Alright, let's start with that. Let's start with that. Let's have this ready just in case. I don't like the looks of who this is. Oh god, yes! Got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Okay, uh... I don't... I don't remember. Do the skeletons come back? Does, does the Cemetery Shade keep summoning them? Sorry, uh, just got a message from my mom that one of my high school teachers, I think high school, no, middle school teachers, uh, just recently passed away. Shit. Alright, let me start right from the same thing again. Fantastic. That's that's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Getting in there quick, I think, is the right move. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't think summoning the spirit is the right move because it takes away from time that I can get to... I think I've got to get to the shade as quickly as possible. I don't think there's any point in anything else. Oh, 
my god, I can stop it. And I hit the wrong button on my way in, which messed it up too. I don't know why I need to kill the cemetery shade in here. All I need is the black knife print. Speaking of, we didn't read any of that. There it is. Black Knight print. Mark of the Knight of the Black Knives Ritual. On the Night of the Black Knives, someone stole a fragment of death from Malekith, the Black Blade, and imbued its power into the Assassin's Dagger. This mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. Academy Glintscrim, Key, Beast Eye, Larval Tear. Oh yeah, Golden Needle. Uh, one of the tools brought by Bradagon when he entered into marriage with Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, and joined the Carrion Line. It's bad enough that you make this a boss fight at all. But to make it a boss fight with ads as well? Just ridiculous. I don't remember how I beat it the first time. Because I know I, I I know I've beaten it before. I bet the cemetery shade drops a death root. There we go. I got lucky as hell. I just got lucky as hell. Because for some reason... The RNG of the shade just said, I'm going to stand back here and walk around a little bit. Which gave me an opportunity to... Heal, run away from the skeletons that had collected near me. Yeah, death root. Okay, so I did absolutely have to kill it. Okay, alright, well, at least it's done... And I guess, unless I'm doing a run that would include D's entire storyline. Oh, but D's storyline affects Fia's storyline, doesn't it? So I think I would, if I was ever doing Fia's storyline, therefore Ranala's storyline, I would always have to. Oh, wow, that really blows. Um, okay. So we've done that. That is now the end of Liernia Lake. We need to go back to Round Table Hold. 
But before I do that, I want to go check at Jar with Jarbairn and see if anything has changed there now. And then I'll go back to round table hold. It doesn't look like it. Uncle Alexander won't come back here again. My home is off the I suppose no. that's Yeah, nothing new. All right. Um, Corin, Dialos, Enya. Enya, we've already talked to. Ah, you appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then, would you like to learn an incantation? There's something I should mention to you as well. I'm thinking of leaving the round table hold. Do you know of the noble gold mask? Though he was but a tarnished, living outside the lands between, he was a great scholar who foresaw the coming guidance of grace. And now, I hear he has come to the lands between alone to contemplate the golden order. I wish nothing more than to seek his instruction. And perhaps even help him in his research. May the golden order shine through you. Oh. I'll be seeing you in the Altus Plateau. Ah. You again, is it? The recusants sent a lackey. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did? I can scarcely believe it myself. Did they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. It's on Mount Gelmir. Found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you <clears throat> wait, wretched recusants. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. All right. So we're done with you. Talk to Corrin. Talk to Dialos. Talk to Enya. Uh, exhaust dialogue with Fia and Roger. Reload and talk to Roger again. Anya, we've already talked to. I do want to... Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? Yes. Don't have a great War 5. Okay. Love War 5. Alright, but at least we got it to 4. Alright, that's good. Oops. Greetings. Are you here for... I feel like I'm really coming to grips with spirit tuning of late. I can see how and why immortal essence exists. A spirit under the golden order. I can understand their yearnings. What they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself, actually. That I'm no mere apprentice any longer. Once again, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Roderica, the certified spirit tuner. Very nice. And I got the curtsy. Yay! Uh, I don't have anything for you to... Well, I took you for no matter lay out your arms. The girl has come a long way. As ever, time and technique have made her stronger. Tis good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice. Or a daughter, but at times that's precisely what she feels like to me. This actually might be I've jumping ahead in their story. And it isn't easy. Uh, let me check and see. I don't know if I have anything to sell, to be honest. I don't know if I've gotten any dupes or not. Uh, 
weapon wise it doesn't look like it no and I could sell all of my arrows uh, no extra shields marionette soldier helm okay I do have two of those I love that the royal room that I uh. And it slowly replenishes, replenishes HP when HP is reduced. It's very, very slow, but still, every little bit helps. I'm... 4.6 versus the 1.7. If it still keeps me in mid-load, then I may switch to that. It might be worth it. Um... Okay. All right, Sophia and Roger. Yeah, it still keeps me in mid load. And it actually raises my poise a little bit. Now, that's a badass dude. <laughs> or, or girl, actually, I should say. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Ah, uh, yes. Now, come closer. You are so very warm. Dear Roger likes to talk of it when abed, the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain, the black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. Dear Roger, like the ancient plot, the black knight, along with the imp okay. Then good day to you, my dear. Alright, let's go talk to Roger. I look ridiculous with that quote-unquote helmet on, though. I do have to say that. I'm not gonna lie. It, it, it looks ridiculous. The hood was much better. Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the rune of death through sinister right. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the rune of death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Okay, you don't have anything new. Alright, you have the... Oh, you... Oh, that's an Ash of War carrying greatsword. That's right. I keep forgetting that he doesn't actually teach sorcery. I, I keep forgetting that. I don't know why I seem to think that that's the case. Alright, let me go talk to... I don't think Fia has anything more to say, but let me go double check. I am pleased. Would you like the blessing? Would you like... Now. <clears throat> you are so... I heard that you lent a hand to dear Roger. He seemed positively elated. He must be possessed of great mental fortitude. It anchors his will, 
and sustains him, despite his grievous wounds. You truly are a champion to dear Roger and myself too. Okay. Then good day to you, my dear. All right, let's go back to Roger. I doubt that he has anything more to say. I'll probably need to reload. But let me double check. Oh. Nope, okay. <clears throat> hoping to see you. My examination is complete. Here's the knife print back, with my thanks. Okay. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the rite upon the blade. The person who orchestrated the Knight of the Black Knives. Luna Princess Rani. One of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala. Demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rikard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But if I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. So the one thing, though, he never says in any of this, because I have completed Ronnie's quest line, not Fia's, but Ronnie's, in my first playthrough. He never says why he's doing all this, why he wants this information. Other than he himself has been afflicted by death, he doesn't say who afflicted him by death. Well, other than me, went during the fight of Market. I, I don't... Yeah, th there's a there's a why here that I don't think ever gets answered. I have some idea of Rani's potential whereabouts. There's a manor to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It is the familial home of the Karian royals from whom Rani descends. There's been talk of the old royals' vassals gathering there in recent years. Rani's whereabouts since the shattering are a well-kept secret. She hasn't been seen even once. But I suspect she might have returned to the manner in which she was born. Uh, oh. Why do you want a curse mark? I'm afraid there's something I must tell you. Do you know of those who live in death? The very notion of life in death defies the Golden Order. By Dee's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. You may find this peculiar. But I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life, only they happen to touch upon a flaw in the Order. What? Yes, indeed. If Dee knew what drives me now, he would surely boil over with rage. Or perhaps he would even feel some pity. But no need to fret. None of that will come to pass. I can tell a good lie when I need to. <clears throat> I can be honest, I still don't completely understand. Okay, so we'd already talked to Enya. Uh, we've exhausted the dialogue between Fee and Roger. That's now done. Next, we've already talked to E.G. at the road. Next is defeat Karia Manor and discover the secret room under the ruins near Glenstone Dragon Adula. Okay. And then we start the, the, the Ronnie portion. Um, oh, getting through Karia Manor is not going to be quick. Uh, Alright. I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to do beforehand.
Is there anything I need to get? Well, um, uh, hold on a minute. Let me see something. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch off of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the astrologer hood back on. Um, shortens. Oops. All right, so that shortens spell casting time. And this raises potency of sorceries. That boosts maximum XP or FP. Lightning. That's critical hits restore HP. That's critical hits restore FP. And then two sacrificial twigs. Um... Oops, sorry. Uh, what I'm trying to decide here is... One, two, three, four... That's, oh, hold on a minute. Two, three, four, eight, and nine. So I'm missing five, six, and seven. Um, What I'm trying to figure out is, should I go and get Millennia's Scar Seal? Because that I can go and get, it doesn't affect any storylines, and it's out in the wild for me to go and pick up. Trying to find exactly what it does. I'm pretty sure I know what it does, but I want to double check. Alright, why am I not finding it? There's right. Okay, Americas. Sorry, Americas, not Millennia's. America Scar Seal raises mind, intelligence, faith, and arcane. I only need mind and intelligence. Um, but by three each. But increases damage taken by 10%. And then where's the greater version of the grave so the graven mass talisman that's an albinaric rise that's after oh that's in the consecrated snowfield oh my god that's way way away um then spell effect duration Alright, let's go ahead and put on the Cerulean Amber Medallion to raise my maximum FP. Which raises it by 8. And at the, at the moment, I can't think of anything else to do. I mean, I'm I'm looking around. Oh, I know staffs. 
days, whatever. Um, let me go back and look at that again. Okay, so... The Academy Glintstone staff is taken care of with Thop's storyline. So when do I handle, or when do I turn in all the way down here? Oh. Okay, so I can't get his staff until quite a ways from now. The Glintstone staff is only a C intelligence scaling, so that's not smart. And then the Carrion Glintstone staff is located on a corpse in the Carrion Study Hall. Which is in the Carrion Manor. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I see where it is. No, it's not. It's in the study hall. That's where you would take um, Renala's Great Rune. The only then option, only other option would be the crystal staff. In the Academy Crystal Cave. But it has a... Never mind. It has an intelligence requirement of 48. It's not worth it either. Alright. Then, Karia Manor it is. God, it's... I don't understand why, unlike every other weapon, there are so few... weapons available for sorcerers until mid-late game. Um, I don't remember where anything is. That's quite a bit of FP requirement. Nice.
Alright. That, I know, is the exit out to the next room, or next area, but if I recall, there's stuff along both sides that I need or will want. There's nothing I hate more than stun locks. I don't know why they exist. They are not fi they are not realistic in the physical world. All right, I don't need to go through that way anymore. Where did Okay, there's where he came from. been just as smart to use the meteor uh the slat the uh rock sling Stone Craftsman's Cookbook. Freezing pot. Alright, so we got freezing grease and freezing pots now. Okay. So that I'm not wasting time. Let me make sure that I've got... I know exactly what it is that needs to be picked up and what doesn't. Uh, okay, I just got that. Oh, that's up there.
Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back around the other way. Because I don't think that there's anything over on this side that I need. So we'll go back through here. Yeah, let me make sure I pay attention to <laughs> what might be hanging from a wall. don't know where he came from. Oh, okay. I see how this... I didn't think the small ones would... Um, got buried. I knew the big ones got buried. Or could be buried in the ground. But I didn't think the small ones could be. I was wrong. But you stay out of the grass. You don't usually have to worry. Oh, shit. Oh, but look at all of them. Oh, and another one there. Did not need it. I thought there was another door that I could go into. That takes me to the next part of the manor. sworn this should take me around to where I was a little while ago yeah there's just, there's not much of value down on the ground. Almost everything of value is up top. Oh, crap. There's blue nails there.
I didn't need to take that damage. Go ahead on in. Ah, yes. The standard Lady Ronnie, we have long awaited you. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Caria. Okay, now. Bending stone four. <clears throat> now, I need to make sure that I don't miss anything. So I am at the manor lower level right now. There's all kinds of stuff up top, including the guy that's going to eventually give me a bell bearing, I think. We're then going to go out, and I need to make the first left so that I can drop down to get the Sword of Night and Flame. That's one of the required legendaries, so I must absolutely do that. Um, then we would continue on... Let me see if there's anything. Som Somber 3. Urumi. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook 6. Which I already just got. Alright, so that was down on the first floor. I've already gotten that. But the Arumi, on the other hand... I don't even know what that is. I'm not going to worry about it then. Uh, so then we, we could very easily sprint to the manor upper level. Alright, yeah. So let's go get the Sword Knight and Flame... Uh, and then we'll go get the next race point. Um, I don't know what's going to defeat these guys. Alright, let me try this sword first. Hi there. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of surprised at that. I'm very surprised at that. Seeing as they're magic, I didn't think that a magic sword would do a damn thing to them. Okay, so the Sword Knight Flame is down in that building right there. Looks like there's an ability to drop all the way down to there to get whatever that thing is. Alright, let's see. Well, 
that's weird. Why would I be allowed... Or why would you allow me to come over here if there's absolutely no reason for me to do so? Sword of Night and Flame. By the way, the only reason I'm doing this and not immediately warping is because I saw this right here. Okay, it wasn't worth a lot. But for me, it was worth going out in there and doing that. Alright, uh, we need to get back to manor lower level. <clears throat> Alright. I don't remember... Oh, that's right. I have to do it from up top. I have to get through the manor before I can actually get down into there. <clears throat> Alright, this is just a sprinting exercise. There's absolutely no reason why I need to go and get anything along this way. I just need to get into that building right there. Before I go anywhere else, and actually I think I might be getting close to calling it here. Let me go grab this. See if I can kill this wolf. I... that took a crap ton of swipes. He must have been rep magic resistant. Alright, I'm just curious about something. I want to... So there's a pot there, there's a few small ones down below. How would you even get there? Because once I leave to go to get to Loretta, I'm up that, I'm way up there. I don't know how I would get to whatever that thing is over there. All 
Alright, well, whatever. Okay. Let me go sit at the Grace and see if I can get... Another flask, perhaps. Nope. Nope. I need four? Oh my god. Apparently I got up to the higher levels pretty damn quickly. <laughs> I didn't realize I had gotten up there that fast. Okay. Um... Hmm. Well, the next thing then is for me to get to Loretta. Which is not necessarily an easy task. Um... And I don't think there's another... I don't think there's another race point beforehand. No, there's not. Alright. Well, then I think what we're going to do is we're going to call it here for the night and pick back up on Wednesday. Uh, before we do that, however... Legendaries, Sword of Night and Flame. So we've now got that one too. Um, so we're getting there with the with the legendaries. We're at five out of thirty-two. I am really worried about the Devourer Scepter. I, I think I'm going to be fine at the moment. I think we're working on choice two, doing the Volcano Manor quest line because that's going to be part of the the lore run. Um, Dark Moon Greatsword is going to get... We're going to get from Ronnie's quest line. Uh, the boss of the Shaded Castle, I don't think is even in the lore run. But if we're going to get that legendary, we're going to have to. So I may actually save it for near the end. Uh, Castle Soul, we're going to have to go to anyway if we're going to get the Halic Tree uh, quest. Or um, piece for the elevator. Golden Order Greatsword. Requires getting the Halic Tree Medallion. And then... Before you keep to go east from there. And then kill the boss. Okay, so there's a boss there. And then the Bolt of Grand Sox. Isn't this... Okay, we're going to have to pay, pay attention to this one. Uh, Moon of Noxtella... Okay, I know exactly where that one is. Godfrey Icon is just east of the Lift of Dectus. Uh, from an Evergal. Dragon Crest Great Shield. America Sore Seal, that's in the Halleck Tree. Old Lord's Talisman is Crumbling for Zula, so that's End. Bird Trees Favor plus two, and then this is after Farumzula. Lutel the Headless. Night, uh, most of these we get as part of killing things. And I think they're right along the way anyway. So, um, I think we've gotten pretty much what we can. After we clear Karia Manor, we'll get the reward for the Liarnia Lakes painting, because I know exactly where that reward is. And then the next painting will be in Caelid. So. Oh, he saw me. What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? I don't think you're gonna do anything. See? All right. That's where I'm going to call it for the night. We'll pick back up from here on Wednesday with more lore run paintings and legendaries. <clears throat> Hope that everyone has a great rest of your evening, good continuation of your week, and hopefully I will see you very, very soon. I'll talk to you later, Goose.